Hello, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, it turns out that a McMinn County businessman who drugged teenage girls and photographed them in sexual poses texted one of the pictures to the county's chief deputy. And at that time, the deputy was in training at the FBI Academy. Businessman Terry Lynn Hayes pleaded guilty to child porn charges and giving cocaine to a minor. The instance happened in August 2012. Sources say one of the images was texted to Matt Blair, McMinn County's chief deputy and the brother-in-law of Sheriff Joe Guy. But there's no indication Blair reported receiving child porn or asked for an investigation. Several sources say Hayes and Blair were close friends, close enough that Blair had the keys to Hayes' waterfront home and that Hayes allowed the sheriff to use the house for a retreat for his command staff in 2011. Now, some are questioning why the sheriff's office didn't call the TBI to look into the Hayes case, but Guy dismisses the allegations as political garbage. Chattanooga Councilman Chris Anderson is suing to stop a recall effort aiming to throw him out of office. Anderson is the first openly gay politician elected in the area. Opponents say they want him gone because he's failed to represent them, but Anderson says they really want to remove him because he's gay. District 7 residents have until the end of April to collect 1,600 signatures to put the recall to a vote. But Anderson's lawsuit claims the petition should be thrown out, saying it's discriminatory and unconstitutional. It asks a judge to stop the petition until the courts can rule whether it's valid. The clock is ticking for the United Auto Workers to file an objection to the recent vote at Chattanooga's Volkswagen plant. The UAW has until the end of the week to file an objection, and unless the National Labor Relations Board overturns the election results, UAW won't be able to seek another vote here for a full year. UAW President Bob King says the union is still exploring whether to challenge the vote, but regardless of the outcome, VW still wants to launch a works council at the plant. And some workers at the factory say they're interested in starting a micro-union, one that could consist of just the factory's employees. In the meantime, King accuses Senator Bob Corker of intimidating workers at the plant before the vote took place. He says attorneys are evaluating whether any rules were broken by Corker and other Republicans who said VW would be more likely to expand here if the UAW was rejected. And as it turns out, just days after workers turned down the union, Volkswagen officials have reached out to the state to restart negotiations for incentives. State Representative Richard Floyd is sponsoring a resolution condemning Sex Week at the University of Tennessee. Floyd says he's getting involved because people in his district are, quote, fed up with the perversion. House Education Committee members approved the measure, which attacks the festivities as a misuse of student fees and grant money. Floyd says if organizers still want to have Sex Week, they can do it off campus. He said, quote, they can go out there in a field full of sheep if they want to and have all the sex week they want. The annual event is used to highlight sex education. Last year's event featured a lesbian bondage expert and a campus-wide hunt for a golden condom. An 83-year-old man has died after his pajamas caught on fire. WRCB reports the fire happened Monday morning at Vista Ridge Apartments in Saudi Daisy. Authorities say Ralph Grissom was trying to keep warm at the stove when his PJs caught on fire. He jumped into the shower to put out the flames, but suffered second-degree burns on 40% of his body and passed away on Tuesday. Finally, Chattanooga Airport plans to confront Delta Airlines about constant flight delays and cancellations in Chattanooga. Airport officials say they're concerned about the airline's performance and want a face-to-face -face meeting with the carrier's executives. Delta carries more than half of all passengers at the Chattanooga Airport, and a recent study showed that nearly two-thirds of local air travelers choose to fly out of a different airport instead. Turning to weather, today will be cloudy with a high near 68 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 54. That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.